It's been almost a year since I went all in into this channel. Here are some things I struggle with. All right, let's do it one more time. Depending on the video, majority of the time is me messing up takes. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> one, basically one take. Also, no, also, 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 bird. How are you, birdie? Also, 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 also. Filming myself can be extremely hard because I either go back and forth between takes or even do whole reshoots, especially with the cloning effect. C can you turn the page? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. I try not to do the cloning effect too often, especially if it's not a dynamic shot like this. That's why I brought in Skelly as my scene partner. Skelly has been a bit distant lately. Um, anyways. Doing this whole process by myself, I've gotten a lot better and faster at it. It's why I'm able to upload frequently. But unfortunately, the videos are a lot shorter what YouTube would like, but I guess pros and cons to everything, right? I mentioned this in most of my videos, but if you're new here, I quit my job to go for my dreams. I saved up a lot of money to do this, and I'm very grateful to have the support from my partner through this journey too. But I spent some of that money on props for videos, money that I will not see for a long time, just from seeing how things are going with the monetization requirement. Skelly, come on, it's literally gonna be like five seconds, please. I got you off of Amazon. I'm in the middle of something. Can you at least give me a hand cleaning up afterwards? Ah, very funny. But hey, I expected this, but it still hurts. But that's art for you, I guess. Wait, I'm not going to perpetuate a romanticized and starving artist trope. I believe people should be paired fairly for their art. I've also accepted that my art has limited spaces to be showcased, and this is just the unfortunate growing pains of it. Or maybe just this platform. People are gonna love this. I know you put on average 30 to 50 hours per video, but you're not guaranteed to be a success with the algorithm. I've tried everything. SEO strategies, different titles, thumbnails. It's just my topics are different from what YouTube is pushing out. Some of my videos have found traction and I haven't found a pattern to them, but I gained a really small but really nice community who shows up for my work. It's just really nice to know there are people out there who really like my work and that's honestly all I can ask for. But don't, don't even get me started about the analytics part. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? What the hell is going on? It's another case of imposter syndrome. She looked at her analytics and none of her SEO strategies worked, but it worked for another channel? Okay, but that happens all the time. What's, what's, what's different now? She lost subscribers in the process. Oh dear God. I go through phases where I delete and download YouTube Studio on my phone. And with each of those phases, I either scream, I'm giving up, or I'll have a good cry and have a cupcake. Aw, thanks, Skelly. There was one time I was about to quit this whole channel. In the span of two weeks, I lost about 50 subscribers. And at the time, I only had 600 subscribers. I'm not gonna lie, I cried. Um, that was just a huge hit on everything I was going for. And there's probably more because I've noticed there is an uptick and downtick recently. I get in that analysis paralysis and envy state, but then I'm immediately humbled and reminded that I need to delete the app because this kind of thinking is just not it because it's making me miserable. I've been working extremely hard to promote myself and I recently kind of stopped because it was just, it was just too much. <laughs> Recently, I was randomly selected for a channel review from vidIQ. Through the review, they mostly said I was on the right track. Wow, 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 I love this. I love that. But a comment stuck to me. So it seems like they were trying to figure out exactly what they wanted to do, mm. the direction they wanted to go, which is cool. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. When I started this channel, I went in all certain niches to be noticed. It took me until three to four months ago to really do my own thing, basically being like, I'm the niche. It takes a lot for me to just not give up and do what everyone else is doing. It's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video today, but I'm, you know, doing my own little twist and weirdness with it. 
I grew up weird and it shows in my work and the algorithm doesn't know what to do with my stuff. But one thing is for sure is that I got friends, family, and this community who believes in my work and believes what I can do. And I am really trying to hold on to that feeling of support, especially these last couple months in my gap year. For the next couple months, I'm gonna be obsessing over analytics and numbers and stuff because it's gonna be for job applications. I just wanna take a moment to just show gratitude. Even if you've just gotten here or you're an OG subscriber, thank you for being here. And I hope I can make you and myself proud. Yes. Yes, that should do it. The plan is almost ready. Ha! Huh. You really think that I don't see you? I've always been aware of your presence. I wanted you to see this. Go ahead and warn her, but I think she already knows something is up. <laughs> <laughs>